Good morning. My name is Min Jae Kim, and I'm a PhD student working on the cost of flooding in the civil department. I'm very happy to present and share my research about the modeling of a compound flood of the coastal urban area. Compound flooding means the, that is the combination of the multiple pools like the overflow from river, extensive precipitation, urbanization, and the ocean surge. It's become a very critical issue as the number one natural disaster in the US because the coastal flooding cases increase. That put the sustainable development of the coastal community at risk. Our research focus has been constructed a very reliable and feasible model for coastal community to deal with the compound coastal flooding in urban area. And uh, we made a test case for the city of Savannah of Georgia, which is the most fast growing metropolitan area in the Georgia state. We adopted the latest hydrological and hydraulic simulation technology incorporate the 1D drainage network with the surface lowering that allow us to have a very precise simulation of the urban flooding. And the, the model is aided by high resolution GIS data such as 10 meter resolution and the remote sense data per input and the climate data sense. It offers a detailed picture of the flood simulation and where it is at risk and the exactly what will happen. But yeah, that was our assumption. Anyway, we applied the various scenarios such as sea level ice and the uh, extensive weather event like the storm. But yeah, the, <sighs> there was combined with the intensive urbanization and that this approach allow for urban scale precision, precision like this, street by street simulation. But we have the two, two results like the, and the solution. First one is that the heavy infrastructure solution like the rear channel pump station that is very fast and very costly. The second solution is that the green and blue, blue solution like the permeable load, green loop, and the, uh, the creation of the urban land and the, the solar part is very important for the sustainable for the, in terms of the ecosystem. The second group is the low impact development solution which, is, which can mitigate the flow risk but yeah, that can promote the healthy urban environment to avoid very heavy development that is, that is aligned with the the millennium goal of the sustainability of the UN. So that was our, our one of the most concerned topic in research. The crucial outcome of our research is that it can help decision making process for local government and researchers. It can give the reliable data and the projection of the flood and it then help to effective digestive process, digestive process response strategy. It's very good for preparing robust response, but it, another fact is that it can protect people and maintain, maintain the integrity of the economic fabric of the coastal community. And as a conclusion, our urban model can provide us a function as a crisis management tool, but as an integral part of maintaining sustainability of the coastal community. Thanks to the generous support from BISS, we can continue this research and help cities like the city of Savannah to face and strive against the future challenges. And thanks for coming and uh, thank you.